Set the ring stand where the ring is about eight inches from the table. So you can see that here. Record data A through F on your data table. This is how you're going to place the soda can on the ring stand for step six. Make sure to hold the Cheeto with crucible tongs and to keep the Bunsen burner lit just in case you need to relight the Cheeto. If more than 50% of your Cheeto burns, then it's fine. When you're heating it, keep the crucible tongs and the Cheeto close to the bottom of the can, but not to extinguish the flame. Keep your watch glass close by in case you need to catch some falling debris. When you're measuring the temperature of the water, notice that the thermometer just moves the can too much since it's so heavy. You just need to hold the thermometer with your hand. On your data table on J, the heat is going to the water and the aluminum can, so you need to add those two together and use the formula there. The difference between J and K is J K is kilocalories. And for L and M, you're literally doing what it says there. For L, L is equal to K divided by the answer you got in I. For N, N is equal to L times M. Make sure that you clean your table off and the watch glass off and clean the soot as much as possible off the can.